when I think about cake love, I, I mean, well, so many times I think about just U Street, mm. um, just that first store. But that first store has been the minority in terms of the years of the cake club being around. So, you know, I mean, cake club's a, it's a pretty big business, you know, I mean, like it's, I'm not saying it's huge, of course it's not, it's only six units, um, but there's a, uh, we, we get a presence around the city and expensive in DuPont Circle. I knew that housing had to extend east because it already was beginning to trend that way, but like there's just nowhere else for people to start living. I wanted to be in a neighborhood where people um, lived so that they could go there on the weekends versus be downtown, which was too expensive uh, that I couldn't afford and downtown was dead back then. So there was no point really going there for the nights or the um, or the weekends. And um, and it was inexpensive to build out, you know, I mean, like, the space was already a cafe. It used to be Cafe Amalo, if that means anything to you. Uh, uh, Amalo Brothers. And uh, so I could get in there, and I knew right when I first went in, like, how I would design, you know, outfit the store. So I was able to get in for, you know, low cost, and uh, it was cute. A lot of people say to me, like, oh, you started the cupcake trend, or you started cupcakes and stuff like that. I mean, you know, there was Magnolia in New York of before course. us. There was Cupcake Cafe up in New York before us. And um, I went up there and toured around that city and looked at their shops and said, well, how can I do this in D.C.? You know, what elements can I take from there and bring to D.C.? And I went around the country to other places when I was traveling as an attorney. I add on a day and just go around the city in San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, Seattle, uh, Savannah, Georgia, Austin, like I went to all these cities and just took elements from each one of these bakeries that were successful, some not successful, and said well, how can I bring it in, whether it's the design, the product, the decision of how to do the menu, I mean, lots of different things that I just cut and pasted. And were some elements creative and original to me? Sure, totally. And I was happy to do that. Um, one place I was reading, somebody said something about like boring flavors. And I don't know if they were talking about what we have, but like just kind of referring basically, almost making it sound like they gotta have something that's so exotic, you know, otherwise it's just not interesting enough. And yeah, I get that on one level, but. Um, Strawberry is pretty tasty, you know? Strawberry anything sells really, really well all the time. Strawberries and creams are our number one selling cake. Still is, always has been, I'm sure always will be. Um, so, I don't know, the space I want to be in is uh, the, the comfort go-to guy. Um, so it's an uh, organization that uh, was founded by a good friend of mine uh, who um, kid powered us after school arts programs that focus on arts and civics uh, for kids in DC PS uh, in, our, in Washington DC. We did a project called Cookie Time with them uh, where we instructed the kids on how to bake cookies, gave them recipes, hooked them up with ingredients, brought them out to the bakery to show them, give them a tour of the commercial kitchens, they get a sense of what a bakery is like went down to Kid Power's um, location downtown in, in Chinatown, made cookies with them, show, showed them the process of doing it on their mixer with their oven just so they can understand it. And then they, the whole idea was to give them enough instruction and background so they could take it and run with it. Um, 
What I've always wanted to do is to sell excellent product and sell really good cake for people that want to indulge and recognize that uh, indulging is part of life. It's fun. Um, I'm maniacal about trying to create something that's really good and that it tastes really good. And when I, I get that, when, it, when it's right, it's wonderful. When it's not right, I want to try to improve it. And um, what I found over the years, really, and this is a little off point, but like it's weird because it's kind of hard to find the truth. You know, like when does something taste good? When is it truthfully and objectively just good? Um, you gotta ask people. Everyone has a different taste. So I, I don't know. I, I like being out there, and I try to be out there as a baker that is open and listening to what people say and willing to try new ways to create an interesting twist on a very simple and common item. Vanilla cupcake, chocolate cupcake, frosting on top of that, you know, that's slathered in caramel. 